Okay, so what does it mean that New Mexico is a hundred years in, in the state? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a history buff by nature, but I'm also um, a retired educator, so this means a lot. Very exciting. What does it mean? So what better way to celebrate than here, right? No better way. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, my name is Teresita Vigil. I was born in Hernandez, New Mexico, and I moved here 40 years ago. I just came visit my brother who was working at the state penitentiary, and he taught me to work in a job, and I went, my first job was this um, white swan laundry as a seamstress. And then I went six months later, we worked with her. my sister, she needed help to me. Then I came back landed at the Kitchen Fresh Bakery. That's where I work until I retire. So you're, how old are you? 84. 84. So 16 years before you were born, New Mexico became a state. 10 years. 16 be years before you were born, New Mexico became a state. Yes. Isn't that wild? I guess so, you know. <laughs> so I heard this is your first time at the Roundhouse. Okay. I heard this is your first time at the Roundhouse. Yes, I don't know. I always wanted to stop and look at the Capitol because I knew the senators. You know, they used to rent. When I worked at the Honda Hotel, some of those senators used to rent for the legislature there. So I knew, and sometimes I said I should go there and visit with them for a second or so. But I don't know. I just live there in Chavez Place, close around here. But I don't know. I just bypassed. And today I was uh, met this Indian girl there downtown. She was some kind of a worker secretary. And she said, where are you going? I, go, I think I'm going to the Capitol. Everybody invited me to the Capitol. But they're going to cut and take up. <laughs> what does it mean to be a New Mexican? Huh? What does it mean to be a New Mexican? Oh, I'm very happy in this state, and I enjoy living. My mother died at the age of uh, 40 years of age. And my father still remained us until he was like his 80s. We live very happy life in Hernandez, New Mexico. My mother was a farmer and could do all kinds of work, it seems to work. And then we stayed with my father, you know. Father worked at Los Alamos Scientific Laboratories until he retired. He was always very happy, everybody liked him there at Los Alamos. And then he lived quite a while there working in the farm until he passed away. And then we stayed a long time. Thank you. My, Thank one you. of them joined the United States Navy. He was very close to my mother, my younger brother. So I my mother, when my mother passed away, uh -huh. he went and joined the United States Navy. And he stayed 40 years in the United States Navy. He enjoyed it. He was even an officer in that. And then he came to the University of New Mexico and took classes there. Now he's retired already, but I guess he has had a very good life. And the older one worked at the state penitentiary okay. and, and all that. But they're all very happy, the one that, and I'm 84, just imagine. They're yeah. <laughs> just still walking around. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. in downtown Santa Fe. All right, what does it mean to be a New Mexican on this 100th anniversary? This is very, very special for me and my family and, you know, everybody that I know because, uh, you know, I was born in downtown and I love it and I live downtown and uh, it's very special. I'm glad I'm alive for this. What do you hope, uh, I guess, to see in the, in the next 100 years for New Mexico? Uh, it's going to be awesome the next 100 years because, you know, it's, 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 it'll, it'll have more people. It's, it's just a growing state and it's just people from all over come here. It's just awesome. Why so, did you pick the Roundhouse to come celebrate? Because I live right by the Roundhouse and I love the Roundhouse and, you know, I just wanted to be here. This is very special for me and my family, so I'm here. Okay. Anything else? Any other words of wisdom you want to tell other people? It's, it's just a great place to live and to eat and to hang out. I mean, it's beautiful here and I love it and I'll, I hope to die here. Okay. Great, thank you. Okay. Okay, can you say for your first and last name? My name is Paul J. Martinez. Okay, how do you spell that? Uh, Paul J. Martinez, P A U L, mm -hmm. initial J M A R T I N E S Z. And where are you from? I'm originally from Abiquiu. Okay, and then now where do you live? 
I live in uh, a little place called La Mesilla by Española. Oh, okay. So why did you come out here today? Well, it's a great day for me because uh, I'm a native New Mexican and I just love my state. What does it mean you know, to be living in New Mexico on the 100th anniversary of the state? It's just great. It's just great. I travel throughout uh, the states and there's no place like home. What do you hope to see in the next 100 years? Well, if I'm alive, I hope to see uh, New Mexico progress with education. You know, the education is my main concern here. Okay. And then, anything else? Why did you pick the Roundhouse to celebrate? Well, it's, I, I've been here before and I come here all the time. And I enjoy coming here because to listen to people. And what better way to celebrate, right? What better way to celebrate than to be here? What better way to celebrate? Oh, this is great. It's great. Good entertainment, good people, and uh, just enjoying the people, you know? Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. All right, thank you. The camera. Can you say for your first and last name? Jameson, J-A-M-E-S-O-N, Taurus, T-O-R-R-E-S. How old are you? Eight. Eight. And who is this? Azalea. How do you spell that? A-Z-A-L-E-A. And Zuniga. Z-U-N-I-G-A. Okay, she your sister? Yeah. Okay. So tell me why you're here today. And because we want to celebrate the birthday of um, New Mexico. Why, why is it so important to celebrate this? Because it's, it's where we live and it's our community. So are you going to have cake later? Yeah. Is that your, your favorite part of a birthday? What's your favorite part of a birthday? This to be together. Um, so, you know, did you tell your mom and dad you wanted to be here today, or how did you hear about the birthday? And I, I just told them I wanted to come. Okay. Do you have anything else to say to New Mexicans living here, celebrating the 100th an you know, anniversary? That we should all be together every day. Thank you. Do you have anything to say? Do you want to say happy birthday? <laughs> You guys want to say happy birthday together? Happy birthday!
uh, Erika Soveranes, E R I K A S O V E R A N E S. Okay, and you are, what is this group called? What's the name? This is Mariachi Conquistador. Okay. It's based out of De Vargas Middle School, but it's it's got all kinds of kids. Like I'm in UNM, and there's Santa Fe High kids and Capital kids. It's just a big group of beginner students from Mariachi. From Santa Fe. From Santa Fe. Okay. Yes. So um, tell us what it means to be able to play for the 100th, you know, in celebration of New Mexico. Well, it's it's an incredible experience. Actually, we play for a lot of a lot of things that they have here, and this is just incredible to be able to have the the music and the culture go along with with everything. I think the music gives it like a certain feeling that it maybe it wouldn't have if the music wasn't there. And this music for the culture is just beautiful. And you know, Mariachi has been part of uh, the New Mexican culture, you know, and also a lot of the Mexican mm -hmm. and Spanish culture. Do you think in 100 years from now this will still be here? Oh, of course. I mean, it's already been here for hundreds of years as it is. And as you can see by the size of this group, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, and as a New Mexican, what does it mean to be able to be here to celebrate with the rest of the state? It's incredible. It's It makes you very proud to be a New Mexican to be here. <laughs> and why are you proud to be a New Mexican? Just because there's so much culture, the people are very wonderful and the culture is just so rich and I mean this is this is a very old city and it's just full of so much greatness. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday New Mexico. <laughs> You're so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, New Mexico. Happy birthday, New Mexico. Happy birthday, New Mexico. Happy birthday, New Mexico. Thank you so much. I feel like it's a wedding. You have to take a bite of each one. Which one we cut? The color card was going to come behind it. Oh, good. All right. Can we all sing together? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Today. You are busy. Okay, so 100 years you're here to celebrate it. Anything, any words for New Mexicans? You know, I really want New Mexicans to embrace um, the wonderful things that have happened in the last 100 years. Remember and reflect upon the great things that have happened, but also look to the future. I was with a classroom of kids this uh, morning, and that's our future. And so letting them know that they can accomplish amazing things just as we have the past 100 years is super important. That's why I chose to go to an elementary school this morning. And then, you know, you do 
you're in office during the 100 year anniversary. Okay. What do you hope to do to make sure that New Mexico is here for another 100 years? You know, what we want to do is make sure New Mexico is here in the in the beautiful way that it's been in the last 100 years, embracing our culture, embracing our diversity, our artists. Um, we want to make sure to enhance that and so that the rest of the world sees New Mexico as a place to come and visit and hopefully make it a home. And can you say happy birthday, New Mexico, for us? Yes, happy birthday, New Mexico, and we look forward to another 100 years. Thank you so You're much, welcome. Governor. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I need to add my pooch. Your parents are back here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear New Mexico. Happy birthday to you and many more. And then can you say happy birthday to Mexico? Really what it was Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Oh no, I want you to say happy birthday, New Mexico. Oh, sorry. Happy birthday, New Mexico. Thank you. Uh, say happy birthday, New Mexico. Don't look at the camera. Just look at me. Happy birthday, New Mexico. 100 years. We're gonna do it again. So tell me about your outfit. Well, this is sombrero man, and I've collected for about 22 years. I've been in New Mexico for 55 years, so. But other than that, these are all memories of Mexico, and you now take a memory of me, uh, so it's a memory path. And so as we go on, our lives are all memory paths, and particularly here, we kind of recognize the same thing over and over every day, since we're so such a great place that we don't really wash away and change so quickly every moment, that we actually can see every day that we're still in the right place. Okay, so can you say it's by your first and last name? My name is Forrest Rusty, Rusty Rutherford, and that's why I couldn't say Rusty. Uh, no, Forrest, no. F-O-R-R-E-S-T -E and Rusty, R-U-S-T-Y, and Rutherford, R-U-T-H-E-R-F-O-R-D. Awesome. And I've been here... Since, I've been in New Mexico since my dad came with John Sims to be in the government in 1956. And then so I've been here, I actually was here 50 years ago for this birthday party in the Capitol building which was down the street back then and uh, my brother is Tom Rutherford who started ballooning and has served the state so well. My other brother James is the one who actually started the uh, museum foundation here for the State Capitol Art Foundation, right, right. Of which is, makes this one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. And you are a Santa Fe resident? And I am a Santa Fe resident for the last 23 years. I'm like, Daddy's been here. He said, What's going on?